Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I respectfully invite to give a speech the Governor of River State, His Excellency Yesum Ezewanwike, Commander of the Order of the Niger, okay. Grand sure. Service Star of River State, Power of Sports. <laughs> Excellency, our special guest of honor, our dear, very proud leader of our party, Professor Jerry Ghana, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of our state, the right, the Honorable Speaker of the State House of Assembly, the single senators here present members of the State House of Representatives here present, members of the State House of Assembly here present, the chairman of our great party, the chairman of the Elders Council of River State, the running mates of the Guba candidate of our party, the representatives of the Vega PLC, former deputy national chairman of our party, Dr. Samson Jaja that is here. Our dear leaders, the delegation, Professor Jerry Ghana, the Chairman of the National Rulers Council and members of the council, particularly the Hazel Harper and members of his council. Our dear beautiful women who gave us very beautiful dance styles here. Gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. I quote Van Mekau. Apras Van Mekau. Okutas Van Mekau. Bobas Van Mekau. Ozobas Van Mekau. And Mekau. There you are, Ma. Your Excellency, the special guest of honor, let me on behalf of the government and people of the state sincerely thank you for honoring our invitation. The first, last time you came here was when you commissioned the Omaha Secondary School. Today, you have honored us again by coming to flag off the 12th flyover we are constructing in this state. You have been a source of inspiration. You have been a supporter of this state. I want to sincerely appreciate you for standing fast to say the right thing is done in this country and in our party. God is infinite mercy will continue to bless you and your family. My dear brothers and sisters, today marks the flag of our 12th flyover we are constructing since 2019. We have commissioned seven flyovers, and by the grace of God, September will commission the eighth and ninth flyover. And then by December, God willing, will commission the tenth uh, flyover. I hope I will not be tempted to make promise of any flyover again. I hope so God will help me not to be tempted. Uh, but again, anybody who has used this area will know very well that it's been horrible. Some of us, coming from where we are living to the airport, each time we get to this place, the kind of traffic here is unprecedented. And so we decided to see how we can decongest the traffic situation that has affected negatively economic activities in this area. I agree that residents here will have to suffer some inconveniences. No development comes without inconveniences. So you must have to be patient. You must have to bear with us. This is your own sacrifice you have to make for our area to be good, for our area to be developed, and for economic activities to thrive. And so I appreciate and let you know that everybody has to give you something 
for there to be development. So for this period of 10 months, you have to pass a lot of the conveniences. And I plead with the company, Jerusalem Vega, to make sure that, yes, we agree 10 months, but since the money is coming like that, try and see how you can reduce it. We have the capacity, we have the technology. The only thing I know about Jerusalem Vega is that well, once the money is there, even if they say they should be driving by seven months, they will build. So now that you have the money, you cannot complain. So try. I know to do three major projects at the same time, the flyover of Mola Mokuta, the flyover of this uh, Mboba, Ozoba, and other judge, and then the realization of Iloabuchi, Yazikiwe, Iloabuchi, I know it is not easy because of the manpower required. But again, you don't have the problem. You can employ our people more. The money is coming to you every day, every day, every day. Now, let me tell you, this is not a project where you say will be abandoned because the money has been made available. It's not where we are expecting money. This is not where we are expecting money. The money is there. And we are giving it to you as we have agreed. I'll give the form for the compensation of properties that will be affected here. And so, the value Commissioner of Works, I've said, I don't want the to capitalize on the fact that, oh, the owners of the property are complaining that no compensation has been paid. I have released for this particular area the sum of 1.2 billion naira for compensation. So nobody should come and give me any excuses. So anybody whose property is affected has not been compensated, should please shout on radio that I have not been compensated because I will not take it lightly for anybody to cause any delay as far as this work is uh, concerned. We have no problems about financing all these projects we are doing because our people deserve the best, as I've always said. So, as far as of honor, I thank you. And the people of Ozoba, I mean Mboba and Ozoba, I also thank you. Give them the support. When you give the company the support, they will finish the work on time. And so I plead with all of us, because at the end of the day, we are the beneficiaries. We will be happy, because it will transform the landscape of this area. And that's what we require. Ordinarily, if the last administration had done what we are doing today, we would have focused on another area. But by the grace of God, this is the opportune time God said it has to be done. So I'm happy about that. And let me also say to our people that time has come. Time has come. You must hold those you have elected accountable. This is not a period of giving excuses. It's not this period. We must hold those you have elected or those who have been appointed accountable. I've told the vice people, ask me as a governor, explain to me what you are doing with our money. It is your right to ask us, what are we doing with your money? And if you ask me, I will tell you to come from flyover one to flyover 12. <laughs> that is part of your money. I will tell you to go and see what we are doing from Bori to Kono. I will tell you to go and see the first phase of Transcalabari. I will tell you to go and see what we are doing from Chokocho to Ibodo in the local government. I will tell you to go and see Ahuda dualization. I will tell you to go and see the cancer center. I'll tell you what GRA and what GRA, what has happened in that area. So I can count on and on and on and on to show this is what we have done with your money. This is the first time you will agree with us. A government that has less than 10 months to go is still awarding contracts and commissioning a project. It has never happened anywhere. It can only happen by the grace of God, with us here. While others are thinking of what they used to campaign, we don't have to think about that. It is already here. 
And that's why we are proud to say this is only one state today, today, that PDP can be sure of returning the government to Canada. This is only one state for now. For now. We're as we they fill light up, we they fill light down. As we they fill light up, he they paint them. One of the reasons why PDP had to choose the governorship candidate is somebody who is aware, who knows what government is doing. Because it must be part of the system to understand the system to continue from where we are going to stop. And not people who just had that idea and want to be governor to siphon our money. Thank God we do not give them the ticket. Let me say this clearly. It doesn't matter the party you belong to. I've said we are spending a lot of money to provide security in this state. And therefore, it doesn't matter which party you belong to. I made a broadcast last time. You know, this, our people believe that, oh, that's the way government would do anything. Now, let me tell anybody who cares. Whether you're in PDP, you're in APC, you're in SDP, you're in Accord, you're in whatever party you call it. If I catch you, try to plot to bring security in this state, you go in for it. There's no amount of propaganda. If you like, go to social media. They are climbing down on you. It's your business. I will not allow anybody because we are suffering this in severally and we have spent money. Can't begin to arrange courtes in your event center, in your hotel. Pray. I don't have any hint about it. If I do, I will bring down your hotel, I will bring down the event center, and I will arrest those people, I will prosecute them. Heaven will not fall. In fact, it will be better now for heaven to come down while we are here. Ekuebe, yes, so we can. Ekuebe, Ogule, Bobele. So, I will not allow anybody to destabilize this state. We have suffered it in several and God has helped us with security agencies to maintain peace. So, for me, I will not wait. Whether it is true or not, I will must make sure I take action before it happens. So, if you know, they are using your hotel, they are using their drinking joint to be where they will be holding meetings, think twice now. Because once we come, forget it. Forget it. I'm not ready to, to some of us say, too, I don't, what am I going to do with it? I will bring it down. And then I will rest those people there and pursue them. If you like, go and call anybody you want to call, it's their business. Except I'm not the governor of this state. I'm fully in charge of this state, and now some of you will know that you cannot deal with people like us. And that is uh, enough. So, my dear brothers and sisters, all of us have enjoyed peace in this state. All of us have enjoyed our economic activities are moving on because of the peace that has come to this state. I will continue to enjoy the peace. I commend the security agencies for maintaining the peace and the support we have given to them, they have justified it to make sure that there's peace as against what is happening in other states. Every day you, have, you read news, you hear what is going on in other states. Our place is peaceful. I will continue to enjoy this uh, peace. So let nobody try to be funny. If you want to be funny, we'll teach you that you can't be funny with us. <laughs>